Visibility ticket is very useful when you um, need to uh, turn off the visibility of something um, at current time. For example, at this time, I would like to uh, let this appear and I can use um, some kind of like animation. Um, let's say I will create my own. So um, I'll create my own blob or something like that. And something like this. And I use here uh, some kind of elastic um, bouncy effect. You can see, okay, so I'm very happy with this. But the problem is you can see it goes kind of like backwards to frame zero, where is my animation basically starting kind of. And I don't want it to have, I, what I can do is copy this and paste it in a frame zero. But actually what I want to do is to turn off the visibility in frame one, because in frame zero, that's editable um, frame. I want to have everything visible there. I want to turn off the visibility in the frame one and then turn it on in the frame uh, where I want to um, have my item to appear again. And manually, what I need to do before is go into frame one and then turn off visibility. OK, go here, turn it on. A lot of pain, especially when you are working at the frame 1200, something like that. Much better solution is just you select your element and you hit visibility uh, visibility ticket and what it does it goes into frame one turn off the visibility go back at the your frame turn on the visibility so basically right now you can see it works perfectly and this is another huge time saver if you are working on explainer videos or something like that